What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are working on our first 2023 and we're gonna be putting Limitless Auto Works strobe harnesses in and having all of these C-rings and yada yada flash back and forth. I'm gonna go over some of the things that we're gonna be using. We have harnesses, factory connections, and then once they are in the truck, I'm gonna do a video of them all being on. I've already went through the installation of these kits on other Illuma duties, and it's pretty much gonna be the same. Fender liner's gotta come out, one big connector, on the tail lights, I'm sorry, the headlights. Look at DS trucks rolling on his 23. We love our 23s, we are liking them. And uh, just a little bit added stuff here on this particular truck. Stay tuned guys and tell me what you think about this truck with the strobe lights on it. Let's get to work. All right, let me start off by telling you, when you guys get Limitless's kit, there is no joke. And I have put in many, many of his kits. And every time I do it, I get excited. I mean, the quality of these harnesses is, uh, there's nothing better than it. So right now, what we have done, let me turn my light on. What we have done is ran the wire up to the driver's side. This is the short run coming off the module. And we've ran that wire all the way across and have it going up to the right tail lamp. And then we have disconnected the connectors here at the back for the bumper harness and unclipped the factory zip tie, put in a new zip tie and kind of moved everything down the line, zip tied this because we're strobing the dually light and the reverse lights have everything ran along this factory harness and then i have mounted the module right here i can see what module is what and then i came over behind this harness and he leaves us a eyelet that we're going to use for our ground and then we are going to be running our power feed so the reds we're going to be putting to our upfitter switch okay there's our reds our whites are going to be our steady burn we're not using any steady burn our yellows we're going to be using these to sync if we're going to sync those modules together and blue is our pattern changer this is going to be what we're going to touch to ground this is what we're going to do to touch the ground and it's going to change our pattern and then this is the other channels coming off of the modules which we're not going to use so freaking awesome this is the reverse kit this is the rear harness strobe kit from limitless freaking awesome we're going to keep going get the front install we got ds trucks working up front and then we're going to be doing the cab lights and then after we're going to show you what the 23 looks like strobing all right, check it out. Front is done. Man, that looks freaking nasty. Very stock, very OEM looking. I'm very pleased with, with Limitless's harnesses. And I mean, for the fact of the matter, they're in there, but you can't see them. Uh, the wiring that you get for the front, the long lead goes here, goes down under the radiator and the short lead plugs into that. And then once you get to this connection point, the harness kind of loops up over here. And I went directly between the BJB and the battery. The boxes are there. I picked up the pass-through wire for the cab lights, which I'm gonna be hooking up tomorrow because I'm running out of time. And hooked up all the powers to upfitter switch number six swap the fuse to make switch five and six hot at all times and then uh the, the part where we have the boxes i don't know if you guys are able to see there's his wire bundle and directly underneath all of this 
Let's see if I can pull the BJB box cover up so you can see, but I wanted to uh, have this completely open so people could get, you can see the box down right underneath there. See the box underneath this the bus bar? It tucked in so nicely, didn't have any room, didn't have any problems with, with running wires or anything underneath. Um, we ran one circuit to get power to the uh, rear, we ran one power circuit down the frame and ended up with the rear. We have the reverse lights strobing, the Dewey light we added, and the incandescent license plate lights, which is really crazy. So that brought us downstairs and we're going to tighten up these connections here. We're going to be changing a couple of patterns, so I'm going to leave these um, open and uh, I will cap those off when we're done. You're going to touch you're going to touch the blue to ground to change your pattern but there's his modules. Everything was ran very nicely. I'm super stoked and the last thing that we will have to deal with later on is going to be the cab lights which I have already ran the harness and clipped in there's a connection right under here and it's a Y just like limitless stuff we have to hook up and disconnect roof lights two and three and or two and four I just got to verify that and then our cab lights will be synchronizing as well but I'll probably wind up changing the pattern on there because we want those to do a nice nice strobe dance underneath strobe dance on the roof so underneath here I've got the wires just kind of hanging I'm going to deal with that later our pass-through wires right here that's the one we're using under the hood and there's actually four of them bundled right there so we'll Get the one we hook up and our red is going to be going to that and then we're going to be putting this all back together and we'll be continuing on with the power folding running boards from amp dual motor but for a 23 non-led factory tail lamps i'm going to say that this job is complete i think the customer is going to be fairly happy especially with his hundred thousand dollar purchase his upgrades we put the worn winch on it we put the ford factory dash cams and then we have this sexy front end to look at i'm really liking the front of these trucks now it took a little bit but it's finally grown on me tell me what you think about this in the comment section below if you guys are wanting to get your 23 or any aluminum you guys have with leds to get them to stroke this is what you want to do remember to like comment sub share we're going to catch you guys all next time see you I'm gonna change the pattern for the reverse for the license plate lights because I don't want those both going at the same time. They're gonna be going back and forth between each other.